DLV or theory of latex stability. Would you like learning? What is DLVO? To whom? This one, no? Dirjagan and Lando, Verve, 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 right? And Corbic, right? These four scientists found this theory, right? This theory explains how coagulation is taken place, how destabilization is taken place, right? Means aggregation of aqueous dispersion. So they have quantified this, right? They have quantified this. Okay. So what DLVO suggests? We know that in the latex particles or else call it a system, right? There are attractive forces and repulsive forces, right? They consider both these forces only, not the steric, not the kinetic, not the thermodynamic, right? Only the attractive and repulsive forces. They consider both, right? So then they measure the potential, right? The surface potential of these uh, particles. Right, they have quantified the attractive forces, attractive forces, and the repulsive forces. Right. Okay. So this shows the attractive and the attraction in between rubber particles. Right. Attractive forces. Right. And this shows the repulsive electrostatic repulsions in between the particles right repulsions okay so then this shows the net charge or sorry net energy between the attraction and the repulsion net charge net net energy right net energy right when you plot the net energy you can see this has a high value and this has low value so then this goes towards the high value and when you come here, the repulsions become zero and you can see some attraction remaining. So therefore this curve become here, right? Below this zero level, right? The curve goes like this, right? Okay. This is the particle separation, right? This x-axis shows the particle separation distance, right? Here, One particle is here and another particle. So, sorry. This particle, so another way around, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, we have we have that diagram, right? Okay. Before going to that, we can we can find the important points of this graph, right? So this graph has three distinct phases, right? One is attractive region, right? Where the where this shows the coagulation actually. Coagulate, coagulated state. Coagulated state, right? This is where somewhat is stable because of the repulsions are high. So repulsions are dominant, right? So it's stable here, right? It's stable region, repulsive region, right? Here, somewhat as attractions are there, right? Somewhat as attractions are there here, right? So where you can see some uh, flocculation. here is stable right to become unstable coagulation means so i am talking about the stable colloidal system right colloidal system right right this is the, this liquid system right colloidal system is stable in this region when it is coagulated liquid system is not not stable it is unstable here liquid decker unstable can coagulate or not destabilize or not right liquid deck is stable can even at a colloidal system make is stable can it is available as a liquid state right even at the in terms of the stability got to even at the kinetic swelling got to coagulated state is more stable than the liquid state that's why i asked in the uh, previous viva also 
so once you one when you complete the latex product uh processing steps or means once you product uh, let's say you are doing uh, you are you are producing gloves once you produce the glove right uh, or else until you produce the glove right until you produce the glove you are at a big risk because you are working with the colloidal system right at any time because of thousands of reasons it can coagulate you are at a big risk right latex ekka wada karana wage yanne hariyata ulak kuda inna wage e nathan depatta kapena pihiyak kuda inna wage koi welawe coagulate no thai wadamma nae ithi latex in the latex industry coagulate no latex ekka wadamma nae right etening ivara sometimes you will lose your job even right or else you have to pay repay it if you are the supervisor or whatever you are the manager or whatever right so but in terms of kinetics kinetics in terms of kinetics this is the solid liquid emulsion right if it pass the energy barrier it will become a colloid a co uh, coagulum the coagulum is more stable than solid liquid emulsion emani this is a solid nothing happened there right but this is emulsion right so it's like keeping a bottle in this way right the coagulum is like keeping a bottle in this way on a table right more stable this is less stable right we are talking about the stability of this right if attractions are there this one is also more stable but when it pass this energy gap this will fall right means not stable right this uns instability is instability is discussed here not this one right we are talking about the stability of the emulsion that's why so palannara ulak kuda enata onna menna vetendi inna kene ge stability ek gana katha karana ek hari wedagat ne meya gana ay katha karan de ana ya already stable right okay so you can see two instabilities here right one is risk of coagulation here if this pass this net energy uh vmax right we if this pass this energy gap right this latex will coagulate 100% coagulate right if vfa development right volatile fatty matter development right so you can see some attractions in nearby let's say this is the latex system right so here you can see some microbial attack right so due to microbial attack some acids are formed so then nearby rubber molecules will make a clots make some clots right that is called flocculation so it is local right so this is called the we mean this is actually called so in the next one right uh, yeah we have those right this is called primary mi minimum primary minimum primary minimum uh yeah sorry secondary minimum this is secondary minimum this is called primary minimum this is primary maximum right primary max primary min secondary min right we will we'll learn them later right okay see this one right so at this point so this is the distance between two particles this is the interaction potential the energy right attraction or repulsion right okay these are two rubber particles which are negatively charged and having high charge density having high charge density right so then they they, they maintain some distance in between because of the repulsions because of the repulsions they maintain some distance during brownian motion right okay with the time what will happen some acids can form and reduce the negative charge density then these particles can come closer then further acids are formed or sometimes we add some acids right then negative charges are diminished reduced and the particles can come 
more closer. So this is where somewhat the attractive forces are dominant, but not all, but somewhat, right? Attractive forces are dominant. So then these particles can come closer and another particle can come closer, closer and closer. So they will, they have come closer, but not merged yet. The particles have come closer and they are available like this, right? But not merged yet to make a coagula, right? To make a coagulum, right? Coagula is plural, right? To make a coagulum, right? So they are available like this, right? Without merging, they are available in the nearby vicinity, right? Okay. So if we add KOH, ammonia, potassium laureate, potassium oleate, like preservative, long term or short term, right? So then they can improve the negative charge density of the rubber particle, right? Then again, these particles can go to the opposite directions, right? Can go to the opposite direction while increasing the distance between these two particles so among the particles which came nearby right when you add preservatives this happens that's why it is called reversible aggregation reversible aggregation it's a kind of flocculation actually right reversible aggregation means we can detach these right because they have not merged and make a lump make a coagula make a coagulum right so when we add bases KOH ammonia, so it can increase the charge density. So then the distance between distance of the, the one over K, right? One over K will increase the because of the charge density increment. So then these particles can go apart, right? And become more stable like this. This is more stable. This is less stable this system is stable this is like a preserved preserved system right a stable colloidal system which is preserved right so this is like vfa developed system right vfa not completely developed but vfa developing vfa developing system right particles has come closer but when we add koh right ammonia like preservatives right we can take this system to a stable one right this is called secondary minimum well right secondary minimum right okay now we have this stable system right a stable system we want to make a crepe rubber we want to make a crepe rubber right to make crepe rubber or RSS, we have to coagulate it. Coagulate it or destabilize it. Right? Or else, this is the latex. You want to make a glove. Right? So, on the glove form a surface, you have to coagulate a layer of rubber latex. Right? So, there you have to use H plus, calcium, right? So, any kind of destabilizer right when you add destabilizers acids divalent ions right uh, alcohols right so what will happen when you add alcohols alcohols can go into the rubber particle because alcohols can uh, these rubber particles are organic so alcohols are also organic right so then they are more compatible so then rubber part in inside the rubber particle you can see alcohols because when you add alcohols they can diffuse into rubber particles when more alcohols are diffused into rubber particles this will swell when this is swell to a certain limit right this will burst and rubber molecules will come to the system water phase water and rubber will not mix so you will see a coagulum right here also the same thing right charges so that is a separate thing right to, for your knowledge right so here when you add acids right when you add acids what you are doing you are reducing the repulsions 
you are reducing repulsions you are increasing attractions when because when you add acid these charges are diminished right in the zeta potential also you learn so then particles can come closer here you will see the repulsions will come to a maximum level where the particles are more closer right so it will become a maximum level but at that time when you add some acid or any kind of destabilizer this will diminish suddenly and you will see a complete agglomeration agglomeration right merging and agglomerate right now this is the maximum right v max primary maximum right so then you will see this type of merge right merging right so then you will see a big lump of latex right coagula coagulum coagulum right this is the coagulum of rubber which is primary minimum after coagulating the latex can you convert it into a colloidal system can you dissolve the coagulated rubber in water to make a colloidal system yes, sir. you cannot that's why it is irreversible that is called irreversible aggregation also right did you understand this this is yes. what you learned in rubber processing technology one we can add acids when you add acids at 4p 4.4 ph at room temperature you will see a coagulation of latex right this is how it occurs right okay these are some examples to discuss right there are several okay net interaction energy is the attractions plus repulsions right particle separation curves where particle size and electrolyte content are constant so particle size and electrolyte content uh, content are constant now and the surface potential is so we are changing the surface potential only right so have part same particle size and electrolyte concentration is same maybe 10 to the power molar moles per cubic decimeter is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 and particle radius is uh, 10 to the power minus 5 centimeters right okay these are constant right we change the surface potential only right let's say we change the surface potential right so then if the surface potential is 20, 25, 23, 35, 25, 30, 35, 40, right? So when the surface potential, surface potential, it is just the charge density of this, right? Here you can think of less charge density, and here you can think of high charge density. If the charge density is high, you can see high repulsions. If high repulsions are there, so primary maxima is very high. If charge density is less, primary maxima is very less. So which one has the highest possibility to coagulate? 105. One. One has the highest possibility to coagulate. Five is more stable than all these four. Right? Okay. Then next example. Right? So here the electrolyte content and the potential are constant right at potential constant so they have changed the particle radius right they have changed the particle radius right so here you can see 10 to the power minus 5 2.5 here 1 uh, into 10 to the power minus 5 right so here less less particle size no here yeah radius is very less here no radius is very which one has the highest highest radius should be Is here two. 
highest radius one first row this one yes yes here lowest radius lowest radius lowest radius right so what will happen when the radius increase when the radius increase it is stable you can compare these yes. two one and two this has high, high radius, radius this has low radius the primary high radius low, no. low radius here high radius low radius low high uh, three high radius low radius when the radius is high you can see high barrier high primary max no high barrier why more charges you can see more charges there no? right because of that okay then here uh potential is same and radius is same they change the electrolyte content what we do uh, in the latex coagulation right adding acids to latex acids acids to latex latex acid which one has the highest uh, concentration first or fourth one highest here lowest concentration right concentration so in high concentration at least no primary maxima right so means there's a high with with high concentrations right there's a high possibility to coagulate right with low concentration of electrolyte low concentration of acids right there's a less possibility to coagulate because it has a high primary maxima energy barrier right when you when you reduce the when you reduce the concentration of the acid you use right so it will increase the primary maxima the energy barrier should pass to coagulate is high did you understand that but in latex we have to use low concentrations so we are using i think uh, this much up a acid concentration a formic acid what is the formic acid concentration we use What is the acid we use? Is this? Or take 84 parts and one part and add 40, 84 water and make it 1%? No? What do you think about this? Right? We use low concentration, no? low concentrations. But it is not like this, but it's may, it may be here, right? But however, we want to coagulate it. But you have to remember that when we increase the concentration, your primary minimum, primary maximum energy barrier is getting reduced, right? Here, no even primary maximum energy barrier. So it will directly coagulate, right? Here you have a small barrier, right? Did you understand this? These are the references.